So, uh, what shall it be? Oh. Let me close early today. There's a 15-day wait on the handguns, but the rifles you can take right now. You can't do that. You know when you're watching a movie and there's an actor whose face you recognise, but you don't know his name? Well this video is a part of a series dedicated to the greatest of the unknown, the That Guy actors. When it comes to veteran actors, Dick Miller is among the finest, whose career in and outside of Hollywood has spanned almost 200 films across six decades. What about me? I'm hot and ready to go. It's like I got no choice. In many of the movies he's in, he makes an appearance as the character Walter Paisley. My two favourite incarnations of this guy are in The Howling, where Walter is a bookstore owner. Hey, that's a lot of Hollywood baloney. Your classic werewolf can change shape any time it wants, day and night, whenever it takes a notion to. That's why I call them shapeshifters. I got a dozen books on it. And in Chopping Mall, where he's a janitor who has a one-sided conversation with a robot. Hey, I see your identification badge, please. Identification badge? Do not make any sudden moves. Sudden move? I'll give you a sudden move upside your head! Apart from being movie roles, he's had parts in mainstream TV shows, such as ER, The Flash, Gunsmoke, General Hospital, Bonanza, NYPD Blue, Clueless, Eerie Indiana, Weird Science, Police Squad, and that's just to say a few. He's been in so many that there's even a movie called That Guy Dick Miller. Whether he's in great director's movies or sharing the big screen with a movie star, Dick has been stealing scenes since his debut. Director Joel Dante cast him in pretty much all of his movies, where one of his most memorable roles would be that in the original comedy horror Gremlins. Dick plays Murray Futterman, the patriotic war vet who is a little out of touch with modern times. These goddamn foreign cars, they always freeze up on you. You don't find American machinery doing that. And as you may already have guessed, Dick returns to repeat the role in Gremlins 2. Do you know they got Russian guys driving cabs in this burg? I mean, what if somebody got into a cab with a briefcase full of atomic secrets or something like that? In the 1978 version of Piranha, he plays a sleazy resort owner called Buck Gardner. He has a funny scene with Robert Picardo as an impatient garbage man in the burbs. The healing capabilities of crystals and the, the laying on of hands. You want to try laying on some hands? In all the right moves, he makes an appearance as the angry teacher in the auditorium. Dick has a quick conversation with Kurt Russell as an impound clerk in the crime thriller Unlawful Entry. He's an MP at the start of the action comedy The Dirty Dozen, where Dick and five other actors from that film also had roles in the kids' movie Small Soldiers, where he plays the delivery guy Joe. How to make a success of your small business. My suggestion was torch the place. Not a good idea. Arson forensics nowadays is very sophisticated. In the adventure thriller The Hole, he makes an appearance as a pizza delivery man. In the 80s kid sci-fi classic Explorers, he's Charlie Drake, the helicopter pilot. In the comedy matinee, he plays one of the two fake protesters who are trying to stir up interest in the movie Man. Have you seen the movie? No, I haven't, miss. Uh-huh. I haven't been down and taken a tour of the sewer either, but I know what's down there. He makes an appearance as a grumpy cop in the comedy horror Burying the Axe. In the action comedy Inner Space, he makes a trademark appearance as a nosy cab driver. I don't live here. A oh, one-nighter? Will you, will you shut, shut up? Get up, back in your cab, up. will you? In the comedy Rock and Roll High School, he's a random police chief. And to finish off, Dick plays Pete the owner of a diner in Martin Scorsese's classic comedy drama, After Hours. After making this video and re-watching a lot of his scenes, it's clear to me why Miller remains so beloved by his fanbase, and why directors love to cast him for all these bit roles. Every scene he's in is either funny or memorable. He's from South America. Yeah, he's got a nice tan. His on-screen presence epitomises what movie fans want, and nothing beats watching compilations of his best scene stealers. So now that you know who he is, when you see his face on screen, you can say, oh, it's Dick Miller. One flame pro. There you go. Uh, by the way, you gotta watch out for this baby. Once you like the pilot, it goes out, and it plays hard to get like a son of a bitch. Thanks for watching my video and leave a comment in the comment section down below on which role of Dicks is your favourite. And if you have any suggestions on any other That Guy actors for me to cover, please by all means let me know.